Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this sampath you watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is poco xt custom rom reviews you can see again back with me a custom rom so again this is me a light rom light is saying the light 14 14.0.23.3.7 developer version weekly edition this is into details info and specifications you can see it's recognized as nfc and i have enabled 5 gb of extra ram here in virtual ram memory android version is 13 that is good thing here as you can see that's a good thing here and security patch is march 1 here which is very very good i didn't expected this you can see 2023 31 the march security patch only available in this rom i hope so i have done lot more videos right now but this is the one having with march security patch which is good in my opinion the kernel used here is 4.14.190 puff kernel has been used here the smoothness in the ui is very very good i have been using this from last couple of hours now you can see you can directly go to telegram group of them and you can directly contact the developer from here which is very good in my opinion and you get elite customizations here light version they are saying you get this kind of options here gaming roms and other things you can get to those uh, whatever the website of them you can go that toggle count in miui 11 shade you can customize them i mean this kind of things old extended power menu if you want uh, let me show you the power menu if you want that old style you need to enable from here and charging animation again these kind of options has been implemented in this separate section you can check out here pap size also you can customize that and this is very important disable global dark mode which will be very very important because some of the apps will be uh, force close to dark mode that will won't look as dark or something that will be very different in my opinion hence you can use this whenever you get that kind of uh, uh, i mean dark mode implementation if you don't like that then you can disable from here which is good in my opinion number of notification icons also you can customize and even max icons in dock also you can customize in column folder this are a little bit new here now moving into other settings like wallpapers and personalization again you get a thorough wallpapers here you can see in the library you get lot more wallpapers the super wallpapers will get downloaded no that's the problem i am seeing in many roms they will not get auto download here you need to manually install them but me 14 based wallpapers are pre-implemented i mean pre-installed here you can see all the 13 styles are also given here which is good in my opinion and you can change the font size from here and icons also you can customize and one more good thing is about background color this acts as like uh, uh, themed icons in pixel type prompts that will be same here let's see well apply and see sometimes it will be given but it will not act as that let's see we applied green as you can see some of the google apps are changing to green here that's how it is let me go back and change it to uh, default and you can choose the icons from different themes that's quite similar to any roms and again clock clock uh, formats you can change it out you can add the owner information and notifications again these all the things will be available in sound and other settings ringtones again you have it from here 12.12.5 .12 similar settings you get themes again it will revert back to themes application now always on display is also given here uh, no more customization for that yeah sleep activity is given rise to wake double tap to wake and uh, sleep is given power menu access glance for me don't use that i don't think so always on display is given how it will work let's check i'll wait for certain time meanwhile if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like i haven't seen this always on display now and you can see the fingerprint unlock speeds also i think this is a bug here they just added but anyhow let's move into dark mode and light mode you can see some more options will be given you can individually turn this on also as i said before extreme dim this is little bit newer here you can adjust the intensity also which is good thing this will be available only in pixel type roms that's available in this rom also elite rom color scheme again you get vivid saturated original color and even advanced settings are also given i will keep it to saturated and move it warm 
refresh rate options you get three options here 60 90 and 120 hertz which will be fine here and ai image engine which is very cool this will be only available in some of the high-end smartphones but it will won't make any huge difference in your smartphone but just enable them and see the difference if you feel any difference then you can enable that if you feel that battery is draining then disable them which is that good it is working sound and vibration again you get typical settings here sound effects you get this presets here not a dolby atmos but still it's available additional settings you get these kind of sounds you can enable or disable from here profile video for incoming calls are also given notification and control center again effect is given here i think uh, that's also a bug notification effect these two things just added they wouldn't be added this one the always on display and the notification effect home screen again you get these kind of options here you can see arrange items and reasons ios reasons like this you can get here but a little bit bigger in size you can decrease or increase from here show memory status you can see here plus 5 gb is also added from here fingerprint face unlock and screen lock and even the app lock is also working fine let me show you the fingerprint unlock first and now the face unlock you can see face unlock is also very very quick in my opinion now other settings battery again you get uh, optimized i mean save battery balance performance and ultra battery saver options are given i recommend to use balance for more uh, for many reasons and if you want a gaming like i will be showing very soon the pubg new state also at that time you can use performance mode if you want very good performance the battery life is also quite good and 33 watt charging support is also there in this rom system app settings and these things app locker as i said it's available here and in the additional settings you get typical settings quick ball gesture shortcuts accessibility without actually using the physical buttons of volume you can access them one handed mode is also given clear speaker options is also given floating windows memory extension up to 5 gb as i said before light mode is given led light and second space these things are given in this rom uh, the ui is very smooth as you can see the animations are also very very smooth in my opinion you can see here the icons animations has not been given i hope so yes icons animations is not given what i showed in the previous video that's simply missing in this particular rom and this is typical home screen you get these kind of widgets if you press and hold here you get widgets you can choose one among them you can get categories here lot more are given you can see you can keep one among them whichever you like the widgets you can keep it on the home screen and dialer you get a typical miui dialer here with video call feature availability and also call recording feature availability without announcing the other person that you are recording the call now other settings in the camera as you can see you get this kind of camera here it's not a like a integrated camera you get a typical camera miui camera application you get all the options here grid lines and settings you can see here you can keep the watermark and picture quality and other things you can customize them these are the things available in this custom rom and the benchmark is just like anti to benchmark you can also judge the app opening time here you can see the scores are 332796 is the score you got temperature raise was 0.2 degree celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of anti to benchmark results in this miui elite light rom available for poco x and screen recording options are also given here you can check out up to this resolution has been given and you can record the sounds frame rate up to 30 is given only here in some of the eu roms i have shown up to 90 fps is also given in that particular rom so drm information again you get a, a level one certified you can watch all the ott application in high definition a resolution and geekbench scores let me show you you can see the app operating time it taking little bit of time single score is very good 565 but multi score could have been better it's 14 80 and Linux 4.1 4.190 puff kernel has been used this is the android 13 based mu rom available for poco x slash nfc internet connectivity also i haven't faced any problems with fiber connection i'm getting 1995 mbps i have the same plan and uh, mobile data connectivity i'm getting 4g plus icon which is working fine safety and status also will get passed here you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay and even google maps and other apps are also working fine in this particular rom let's see pubg new state how it handles and what are all the graphic settings we get in this rom also gaming mode how it works let's see you guys can see now in the settings 
let me show you the graphic settings here as you can see i can keep up to light plus 90 fps options are available here even in the lobby i will change it to 90 fps that's really good thing and in the game mode you can see this is lagna one uh, pubg new street you can see in the game mode there are options like keep it none the effect saturated bright i keep it always bright and saturated in any mere smartphones it will enhance the colors and you can record screen you can take the screenshot from here you can also see the lifetime fps count and cpu and gpu percentage i mean the performance and battery left here and you can change it to performance mode from here those things are given and you can cast and turn off screen and you can even add voice changer sight and timer those things are given in this gaming mode actually it is taking 30 seconds guys and also comment on which all other games you like to play in poco x slash nfc i know many people ask about bgmi it's not available from last six months now almost and now this is like a uh, pubg new state got new update and pubg mobile uh, is working fine i tried in multiple roms but new state will not be going to work in some of the roms that's why i am showing this particular game here you guys can have a game play here let's see how it handles in the previous rom it had a lag i mean something uh, drop lag was there we'll see we'll see that's happening here also or not let's see let's jump no man i'm not coming with you okay you guys can see here domino that's how it is it's not getting lag in the previous uh, version you can see here it's showing the performance here fps that's good thing the game itself enabled the uh, fps count here which is very good in my opinion and once the parachute was opened in the previous uh, rom as you can see again this is also happening here it's a little bit of frame drops but in the previous rom it was completely stuck at that place but currently it's good here you can see it's fine the gameplay is fine you can see the fps count it's dropped up to 40 now 44 it's not so stable but the gameplay is fine i haven't faced any issues as of now you can see on the screen it is still 30 the fps 43 if game can enable every game can enable the live fps count like this it will be very very easy it will be very more accurate actually compared to what third party screen recording options let's show you one idea here in the game mode you can see if fps is 50 107 now it's 50 that's the difference you can see here actual frames are this one the game showing that's why i won't show the fps count in any of the matches this will be the accurate here that's how it is it's not pulling completely 90 here only while dropping it was around 60 but now it's kept to 40 fps now it's gradually increasing to 60. this is how the miui elite rom available for poco x slash nfc if you want to use it as a daily driver i'll recommend this as a first option the miui based roms the second will be miui eu and third one will be like uh, easy rom and then the elite rom this all the recommended roms for uh, miui based roms for poco x slash nfc again if you'll like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now